Hi, everyone. I'm Catherine. I'm really excited to talk to you today about We Are Our Ladies, which is the role curve for Our Ladies Global. What is a ROKER, you ask? Good question. Um, a ROKER is a rotating curation account, which means that there's a rotating spokesperson for a given social media account. And this is pretty intuitive for an organization like Our Ladies because we have 180 plus chapters worldwide, and there are so many awesome people doing such amazing things. So every week, we have a different person curate or tweet from We Are Our Ladies. They discuss their experiences, they discuss how they use R, and maybe some tips and tricks along the way. Since this account started in August 2018, we've gained 15,000 plus followers. We've had 56 awesome curators across 19 different countries. And hopefully there's more to come in 2020. This picture on the left is actually our very first tweet from our first curator ever, which was Mara Abrick. So if we look at the most frequently used words from tweets in this account, you'll see that it looks very similar to what you might see on the rstats hashtag, things like data, package, code. However, for every technical topic that we, t um, that we speak about, um, curators are really generous about talking about their experiences. They're talking about what they love, their community, their learning journeys. And I think this is really what makes this account special. And for me, at least, it's very similar to what I might experience at my local Our Ladies chapter. Here is the most liked tweet of our account thus far. Um, and I think it's a little bit of both. It's um, explaining the package praise, which we got also a shout out this morning at Jenny Bryan's keynote. Um, and it's just a fun package that people are really excited to learn about. However, not everything is fun, right? Our experiences are not only the fun stuff, but also the things that might be frustrating about R. And we're all learning together, and no one seems to be an expert, so even our curators have questions. One tweet that I really liked was from Sina, and she talked about her frustration installing RCPP Parallel, and basically every reply to this tweet was, I'm so glad I'm not alone. <laughs> So if we look at a really quick sentiment analysis of um, all of the tweets on this account, we have the most negatively charged words on the left and the most positively charged words on the right. We're a pretty positive group, I would say. Um, there are things that are negative about the tweets in our account, per primarily driven by like evil plots, um, things like tricks and regression, um, really, really negative. Conversely, things that are positive um, is mainly because we love talking about things that are shiny. So <laughs> it's really interesting what comes up when we do a sentiment analysis on this. But some of this jargon aside, we're still talking about issues, get related or not, mistakes and difficulties. And in a Twitter world where everyone seems like a superstar, this has been really comforting to me and made the Twitter community a little bit more accessible. Um, in the 2,700 tweets that are currently in this data set, which doesn't even include anyone this year, um, we've had about 400 plus questions and counting. Maybe there's a little bit more. This was a quick um, regular expression looking at all of the tweets that contained question marks. Um, and basically, we're seeing that everyone's asking questions, whether they're a student or a senior data scientist. Um, and these questions aren't only just about our confusions, they're, just, they're also just engaging conversation, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, one tweet that I really love from um, my friend Kaylin, she asked people what they love about data science um, and or statistics. And she also just gave her response to this question as well. And the replies from this tweet were just really, really awesome and really, really encouraging um, for someone who might be new to the field. So I just want to end with um, maybe a shameless plug. If you aren't following We Are Our Ladies, um, in my unbiased opinion, I think it's worth following. And um, if you are interested, please just consider curating for We Are Our Ladies. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or whether you've um, um, whether you've been through um, the ringer with R, we're all learning together and everyone's perspective is valuable and this is something that I really have found to ring true from having to read every single tweet on this account. Um, <laughs> So um, I just also want to close quickly with some acknowledgments. There's a lot of um, great people who make this ROKER happen, um, particularly a huge thank you to the curators that make it worth following week after week. Thank you so much.